Okay, what do we have here? Oh, yay, we've got 2155. Oh, 2155. Oh, that's 13. Oh my gosh. Hi, you guys. So, um, welcome to day four of seven days to Samhain. <sighs> How are you guys doing? I am not doing well. <laughs> I've been singing to myself, every little cell in my body is healthy. Every little cell in my body is well. <laughs> I've been doing everything you could think of the things that like would help me you know feel stronger healthier grounded from my food to just drinking lots of water and um man i am just going through something so please comment below if you're going through things as well um i i almost did a video for you guys to be like hey i i'm not gonna make it <laughs> I'm not going to make it. I'm sorry that I got you guys all jazzed for this seven days, but I'm not going to make it. And uh, like three different times today, uh, I I was nauseous last night after I finished our episode. Out, out of nowhere, I, I was really hungry. And so I ate a little something, but it wasn't really bad. I mean, uh, and it was small. And I was up for hours after. And then I just, all of a sudden, I just started to feel nauseous. I didn't feel well. My head hurt. Um, long story short, I woke up this morning. I didn't feel well. So I started raking myself and um, singing positive affirmations. And the only thing that made me feel better was when I finally went outside and took off my shoes and walked around in like the rocks and the dirt and sat on the ground and put my hands on the ground and connected to the earth. That was literally the only thing. Sorry, I got to fix my sleeve. That is literally the only thing that like really helped me ground. And it was interesting. Go see my shorts if you haven't seen them, but um, spirit had me, called me to do these shorts because even if it was just for like one person that needed it, I could tell like at least one person needed it because, um, my one of my sister soul sisters sometimes my sleeve gets caught up in there and i were supposed to have a meeting of the minds we've been trying to get together since august <laughs> oh we're both so busy anyway we were so excited about today so excited both of us we were so excited to catch up we haven't spoke since like last may and um she's like i don't know what's going on but she's like Everything, every symptom she had, I had too. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, cause it's the Ascension symptoms. Like, because what's happening right now with this, uh, lunar eclipse and it's a partial lunar eclipse, but it's a lunar eclipse and the full moon in Taurus while the sun is in Scorpio, there's a lot of, uh, metamorphosis and change that's happening within ourselves, the planet, uh, the energy, just a lot of things are changing and they're changing really rapidly. And I feel like for those of us who are really connected, it's like we're going, but it's almost like we're being dragged, <laughs> we're being dragged, you know, it's not, it's not fun. It's not fun. But I did say to spirits today, I'm like, I am cool with this. Like I can handle this as long as, you know, I know that there is like something at the end of the rainbow. And I really honestly felt that. And they kept giving me fours and eights, like balance, you know, of the light and the dark and see how like this, this beautiful, this is a very good friend of mine, um, Foghorn Leghorn, who lost his life defending his lady flock. Um, beautiful anyway, but I always love this feather and, and I forgot about this part right here, which is like, which is the, how the white is kind of overtaking the dark. And that's how I kind of feel like we are. And you know what's interesting is I don't think I ever noticed till right now, like up against the candlelight, that I think there's a little bit of blood on here. Um, but I take it in reverence, you know, and with respect because the bird medicine has been so influential on my path with the ancestors and going through my ancestral legacy and realizing now like how mismatched I feel like in a way, like my family members and I were, you know, um, if we were the way that we are now, meaning like 
I was trying so hard to be more like the women in my family and I wanted more and I wanted to be pretty and perfect and skinny and like, you know, you know, nobody likes a fat girl, like these horrible things, you know, um, that were said to me growing up that, you know, your parents don't know any better. They think they're helping you. And you're like, dude, that's not helping. <laughs> it's not helping. Um, but they did the best they could, right? The dance of the sacred spiral through the grouse, right? Like <sighs> finding that energy and understanding, like I had this moment uh, recently where I was having a memory of something and, and I said, isn't it interesting how tricky our brains can be, how our computer human brains can be, how we can go back to this moment, this, this moment, this one moment in time, right? Um, and you can go there in your mind, but you couldn't physically get in a vehicle or walk over or whatever, go down the hallway in your house, whatever, you know, insert your story here, but you can't go back to that. It's over. Especially when we lose a loved one, right? Like there's so many people over time that I've lost that, oh, that I hadn't seen them for years and I didn't go to their funeral. So it's like, as far as I know, they're still alive. You know what I mean? It's like, I didn't have that like mourning process or go to a wake or cry and talk about them and celebrate their life. You know, instead I did it in, in my own way on my, on my, on my own time. And, and I think that there's something with this death process that we're going through right now with this eclipse energy and why the ego wanted to come in for the rebirth process. Because right now, the ancestors are really imploring us to let go of the past. Those memories, that's all they are. You know? Have you ever seen 50 First Dates? Because if you haven't, your mission, should you choose to accept it, this weekend is to watch 50 First Dates with Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's so good. And, um... I forget, I think they call him one 10 second Tom or something like that. And they're like, what, what? And it's, I don't want to give too much away, but it's about people who deal with like different type of neurological or, um, some people have accidents. Some people were born a certain way, but it's, it's like a place where they can live. Um, because it's too hard to live like with their families. For instance, this 10 second Tom something happened to his brain. He had an accident or something. And so he only remembers 10 seconds or something like that. But to him, he's oblivious. So he's just like happy. So he's like, Hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, what's your name? Oh, nice to meet you. Okay. You know, so anything before the accident, I guess he remembers, but anything after it's like, if he meets you 10 seconds later, he'll be like, Oh, hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> but He's in his own oblivion. In here, we are in our own world. And I'm seeing more and more and more how much we do have to detach from certain people and places and things from our past because they're literally holding us back from our future. I'm like holding this big, beautiful heart rock. You know, they're holding us back from our future. I've been trying to stay super, super grounded right now because I can feel the ancestors. Like my body feels really shaky. I, I mean, I invited them here, so <laughs> I'm channeling them. Uh, the goddess is ever present. Um, but you know, this ancestral legacy is, is so important. And you know, that's the thing is they don't want us to forget about them. They don't want us to, um, I'm, I'm playing with my, my snowman socks. <laughs> I'm wondering what I'm doing. It's late. I'm so tired. I've been fighting so many different things, inward, outward, whatever, but speaking with spirit, it's been really intense and I'm just taking it in and I hope you guys are too. Um, basically, it's just, they just don't want us to survive anymore. They want us to thrive. We've been in this survival mode for so, so long. Now I'm being fidgety, Frank. Um, but we've just been in the survival mode for so long that it's been hard for us to really express ourselves or even know who the fuck we are. 
And I can tell you from personal experience, like I miss my family and stuff, but like when I talk to my family that's crossed over, it makes me realize that like, I'm sad that I don't see them now, but if we can't talk or have a, a, a conversation or anything, and if it's just the same old, oh, how are you doing? Blah, 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 you know what I mean? It's like, that's not a relationship. That's a survival relationship, but it's not, a you know, if you're feeling dread, if you're feeling drained, you know, they're trying to get us to stop looking outward for the answers and start looking inward. So from the medicine cards, um, my one of my favorite things about this book is when I opened it, the very first animal, hold on, I want to get, I want to do this so you can see it, is the eagle. Can you see that? And um, we have a lot of eagles around here, but they don't come around too much because we have so many birds, different birds and birds, uh, so many different bird species around here. I'm like, what's going on over here? That they chase them out a lot. So we don't see them very often. I'm like, seriously, is there a reflection? It must just be a reflection. So I'm like trying to figure I'm like, I'm like, is it a hair? I'm like trying to get out of the way, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Sorry. It's so late. You know, when they told me they wanted me to do this, like, late at night, like, at the other night, I was like, I'm going to be too tired. I'm like, I'm going to feel like I don't make any sense. They're like, you know what? It's when we don't think we make sense is when we make the most sense at all. Most sense. Yeah. So, getting back to the basics of finding the healer within, the ancestors are saying, let me turn this down a little bit. That it starts, number one, with us, our spirit, our connection to spirit, our love for spirit. And what does that mean to us? And are you getting too lost in other, you know, it's, out, you have to remember right now, especially for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those who are coming back, welcome back. Um, there's so much fakery and fuckery out there. Drink water. Right now, I bet you're thirsty, like parched all the time. Drink a lot of water right now. The moon is the water. I mean, the moon doesn't get more intense, right, on a full moon than on an eclipse. So this is intense. And for um, I know for myself, the eclipse is happening in the afternoon of, you know what I mean, like the daytime. So it doesn't mean we're not going to feel the energy. So I, I need to keep track of this time because, okay. Oh, also, before I forget, our angel number today is 2112. So I always love when they do that because what's 2112? But it's like a mirror of itself, really. So work with that as well. So I'm going to dive in here and um, I'm going to read the poem of the eagle. Eagle, fly high, touch great spirit, share your medicine, touch me, honor me so that I may know you too. Okay, so it says, Eagle medicine is the power of the great spirit, the connection to the divine. It is the ability to live in the realm of spirit and yet remain connected and balanced within the realm of earth. There comes balance again, right? Because unless you live far away from the world, you know, remotely, you're going to have some type of third dimensional experience when you go out into the world, when you go on your computer, you know, what, whatever, wherever you go, it's not going to stop. Sorry. I'm having like these back issues. I'm just a little, I'm a little overwhelmed right now, you guys. Um, but I love you, but it's, it's about finding this balance between the worlds, but not straddling them. And especially to the empaths, we can easily get sucked into things on multiple levels. I've been noticing too, like all these things that have been coming up lately about OCD, ADHD. And I was like, it's like, I check all these boxes. I'm like, but again, I'm like, why are people still trying to put us in fucking boxes? You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with us. It's like, they're trying to normalize it, but not in a, it's like, but in a victim way, we're not fucking victims because we're sensitive. We're powerful motherfuckers because we're sensitive. The difference is, is not allowing people, especially narcissistic behavior to manipulate us 
um, I, I created this shorts today. I'll put it up soon, but it was so good from Aaron and Aaron Daltrey, I think is his name. I used to listen to him a long time ago. I didn't even recognize him. I was like, is that Jared Leto? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I'm like, Aaron. I felt like it was an old friend because I started watching Aaron when he only had like, like 10,000 followers or something. Now he's like over a million. So interesting. Um, but that's his, that's his way of being a prophet. You know what I mean? Like that's what he's doing. So anyway, that's a whole other story. Uh, but he had a really great explanation in like a shorts in one minute, like the empath narcissist relationship and how easy it is to get to fall into that. And it doesn't matter if it's, it's your lover, your friend, your family, you know what I mean? It's like that relationship is super intense, you know, especially if you don't know how to navigate it. So it's best to just stay away from the vampires and stay away from, you know, the people that are sucking their energy. Okay. So Eagle soars and is quick to observe expansiveness within the overall pattern of life. From the heights of the clouds, Eagle is close to the heavens where the great spirit dwells. The feathers of Eagle are considered to be the most sacred of healing tools. They have been used for centuries by shamans to cleanse the auras of patients coming to them for healing. Within the belief systems of Native American tribes, Eagle represents a state of grace achieved through hard work, understanding and a completion of the tests of initiation which result in the taking of one's personal power it is only through the trial of experiencing the lows in life as well as the highs and through the trial of trusting one's connection to the great spirit that the right to use the essence of ego medicine is earned you know what that means? It means that they're saying like myself as a messenger and a facilitator and you as, you know, we are disciples of spirit, right? Like we're like, I mean, that's the best way to say it. We're prophets. So, I mean, congratulations to you and to me, right? So that's what they're saying. It's like Eagle chose to, to speak with us today. Eagle chose to like, you know, say, listen, you're part of this breaking this chain of these ancestral, you know, bonds that no longer exist in this dimensional frequency. You know, we are about peace and love and light and wherever we come from, we're really, really powerful. And there's power in numbers. But even, and I have found that even in other light workers, I feel like an odd bird, you know? And so if you feel like that too, that's probably why you're here. You know, sometimes I, I will say to spirit, you know, is that why our clicks or our, our groups are so small or the numbers kind of go up and then they go down and then they go up and then they go down, you know, and subscribers on my channels. And, um, you know, and I always try to remember that if it's true what they say, that if you have that many subscribers, that means there's at least twice as many of those people watching you, but they don't subscribe or they don't comment, they don't like. So that gets me super excited. That means there's that many of us. So, you know, come forward, you know, show yourself. It's okay to be who you are. I have been promoting people to be who they are since I, since I woke up to what I am. And was like, no more will I listen to people fucking making fun of me or calling me names or telling me I'm crazy or I have OCD. Or I'm like, stop fucking labeling me. Like, I don't want to be labeled anymore. And none of us. It's like, you know, it's just this thing. I, I heard um, this podcast with Mayan Bialik and um, Rosie or Ro O'Donnell. She actually goes by Ro. And uh, she was just really powerful and talking about her children and how her younger children, you know, correct her. And she's like, my children are correcting me in my gayness. <laughs> she's like, I don't understand. She's like, she's like, what are these terms? What are these labels? Like, why is, why is this happening? You know, so don't allow people to label you. This is your journey, beautiful eagle. You soar and be an individual. I only have about a minute left, so I'm going to finish reading this, and um, I'm excited to um, talk to you guys tomorrow because it's going to be the full moon in Taurus, and um, very, very exciting. So the hunter's moon, I feel like there's going to be some theme around that. So let me finish this up. If you have pulled the symbol, Eagle is reminding you to take heart and gather your courage, for the universe is presenting you with an opportunity to soar above the mundane levels of your life. 
The power of recognizing this opportunity may come in the form of a spiritual test. And being astute, you may recognize the places within your soul, personality, emotions, or psyche that need bolstering or refinement. By looking at the overall tapestry, Eagle teaches you to broaden your sense of self beyond the horizon of what is visible. In learning to fiercely attack your personal fear of the unknown, the wings of your soul will be supported by the ever-present breezes, which are the are which are the breath of the great spirit feed your body but most importantly feed your soul i heard that too that's in my short so look at those they talked about that the realm of mother earth and father sky the dance that leads to flight involves the conquering of fear and the willingness to join in the adventure that you are co-creating with the divine if eagle has majestically soared into your cards you are being put on notice to reconnect with the element of air Air is of the mental plane, and in this instance, it is of the higher mind. Wisdom comes in many strange and curious forms and is always related to the creative force of the great spirit. What do we have? One more minute. Okay. If you have been walking in the shadows of former realities, Eagle brings illumination. Eagle teaches you to look higher and to touch Grandfather Sun with your heart, to love the shadow as well as the light. See the beauty in both. You will take flight like the eagle. Ego medicine is the gift we give ourselves to remind us of the freedom of the skies. Ego asks you to give yourself permission to legalize freedom and to follow the joy that your heart desires. And we'll read more about the eagle. I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow, um, but I only have a few more seconds. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking this ride with me and this journey this week on the seven days of Samhain. And take really good care of yourselves. Eat good food drink lots of water, eat good food like from the earth if you can, get grounded, get outside, take your shoes off for at least 30, 40 minutes, just even if you just put some, you know, uh, you know, rocks in a bucket in your house and put you, just get connected, just get connected. I love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Take good care of yourselves and each other. Blessed be at home. I love you. Bye. <sighs> oh yeah. Angel number 2112. Don't forget to look